This year's premier social cohesion games celebrated unity and diversity and took place at Kwakasran School in Pretoria, Gauteng. This competition was founded in 2017 by the provincial government and the Hellenic, Italian and Portuguese Alliance, also known as the HIP Alliance, to promote social cohesion. Premier Panyaza Lusufi, together with MEC Morakani Musupwe, took part in this special sporting event that brings Gauteng communities together through sport. It's an exciting day, I must be honest. Exciting more than the way it actually. Uh, if you have to take into consideration where these games come from, where we are now, uh, it's an elimination of hatred and the embracement of peace. It's an elimination of wrong things, but the embracement of good things as well, so that we can bring all our nations together. Uh, that's why we call them social cohesion games. Uh, so that we, uh, we forget about our differences and enjoy one thing that is very important in all our lives, which is sport. Uh, we've grown, uh, we've got many codes compared to where we started. Today I saw uh, uh, rugby, I saw netball, soccer, cricket, uh, chess, so it's an, it's an improvement. Uh, and we are quite happy as the Gauteng government that we are hosting this game. And we hope they'll grow bigger, bigger, bigger and bigger. Well, it's a great honor for Chess to be involved in these games uh, with the fifth code. Uh, we came in two years ago. This is our second edition. And uh, we are delighted, you know, it's an opportunity for our players. Uh, and Chess is a growing code. You know, it's one of the biggest uh, codes uh, in, in the province. And uh, we're just delighted to be part of this premier uh, social cohesion games. So yes, obviously, you know, apart from the social side of things, uh, it's quite serious. Uh, there will be a winner, uh, first, second and third place. Uh, they will receive medals, uh, but apart from that, you know, it's more about uh, friendship. It's about getting to know each other, mixing with uh, people from other regions, and broadening that network of players and friendship that we have in Gauteng. Uh, chess is delighted to be part of these games. You know, we're growing, and uh, we just want to have a footprint into these games and to showcase to people what chess can do and how we can bring people together and how we can unite people from different backgrounds um, re regardless of age, uh, religion and, and you know so on. So uh, for us this Premier Games is, is massive. Well, in Gauteng, we've got five districts that are here today. Uh, we're blessed by Sony Netball today because we're here in the north, and it's quite amazing. We have about five with three uh, categories on each. The mixed, the seniors, who are over 35, it's more recreational where they're just having fun. And then we've got senior ladies that are coming from more informal settlements. So this was more about us giving an opportunity to them to come to and play because all the time it's more competition, competition, but today we said why not be recreational and just have fun. I can say for us this was an exciting event because definitely looking at our age, some of us are over 50, some of us are around the age of 60 and it's important that we can be able to take our experiences and give to the young ones. The main thing that we're trying to do or from our side, we believe in promoting development because these kids, when they're out there in the streets, they are exposed to a lot of other things. However, with these games, we believe it's one, one area where we network, we make friends, we meet other coaches from other districts, like Swani, Egurubeni, for instance. We met those people from those areas, and it has been a great experience, really. Our team has played so well, though we have not won any game, because the strength is too high, <laughs> I believe that in the next cohesion games, we'll do much better. It's, we, we're just here to have fun, you know, and yeah, nothing more. Have fun and do your best if you can. It's a fun experience, it's nothing serious, just social games where we can interact with other regions and other people from other regions. Netball is, is, is alive, it's kicking, it's active, and we're vibrant. And right now, some of these areas at some point, you know, we tend to forget about. 
But right now they're here today and luckily with the premier social cohesion games we can see and unearth some of the talent that we've not been seeing. The main, 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 main goal about this or our objective is to unite people, irrespective of whether are you from Zambia, are you from Ukraine, are you from wherever you are from, because uh, after all, we are all human beings and uh, we all have purpose in this life. So the only thing that we need to do is to show each other brotherly love, take care of each other, unlike being uh, negative towards each other. It was fun eh? because I mean even us we came through from different townships and uh, it was a nice experience you know coming together you know sharing the sport you know making sure that we have fun and then of course meeting five other teams it was very interesting we get to know each other you know learn you know play together it was, it was fun it was fun What we did for the team basically, um, it was nice and it's a bit of uh, bonding as well because late in the year we still have another tournament we need to play. And then um, the games itself was uh, a bit unfair because of uh, we play against youngsters. But for us we do it in the spirit of the game. So and we in the end of the day we enjoyed it as well. So uh, and it was a bit of bonding as I mentioned. And also like in as part of our preparations as well for our tournament later in the year as well. So oh, it's a great honor for me to be here at this evening with the rest of the best players. You know, it's not um, easy to get all the legends together. We're seeing us together today to promote what we are doing here today, the Houghton Premier Invitation. You know, it's a great honor and we thank everyone for coming and um, we hopefully we we'll have to be working hand in hand with the Houghton and Premier to make sure that um, Kauteng is the best province in this South Africa. <laughs> it was tough, it was really tough. Uh, we played three games. The first game, we lost 2-1, and the second game, we draw. And the third one, that we lost 1-0. That was the, so painful to lose that game. But well, we were supposed to reach the uh, final, but unfortunately, one the best team has win. You know, we like to be involved in such events, you know, to help and uh, motivate the youngsters to be out of drugs and, you know, uh, uh, and, and, and be active, even if it's schools, holidays, and there must be something that they are doing, not sitting at home or, you know, uh, uh, hanging around and doing nothing because an idly mind is a dangerous mind and they, they do drugs, so we want to keep them going so that they must be out of those things. You know, we find pleasure because we didn't even go to church. Not necessarily that, but uh, we have been playing them, the, this social cohesion. I'm sure it's for the fourth time that we come to the social cohesion. But we lost with the first game. But now this time we managed, we went up to three, uh, winning the game. It really means a lot, you know, just to give our support to the community. Um, have fun also, you know, uh, sport is fun that brings people together and that's what it's all about today. The main message on social cohesion is that we, you know, we're against xenophobia, racism, any sort of sexism. Um, we're here to play football, to enjoy ourselves, to, to be together and to show everyone that through sport we're one. Oh, it was a lot of fun, they still take it very seriously even though they're like retired. But it's exactly what social cohesion was about, um, getting together people of various age groups, different backgrounds and exactly what the message is, social cohesion. My message to young people is, is always um, they have to be prepared, first of all. And um, you know, the, there are so many things that goes around uh, all over us, uh, where we stay in the communities. But find something, find your passion. Um, I know, you know parents want their kids to go to school, but there can be no education without sport.
all work and no play make somebody you know not so uh, not so not so great so we want them to combine education we want them to be disciplined we want to them to find sport that they can play and most important have a desire have a purpose it's a fantastic initiative by the premier um, you know to, to to do event and and create awareness you know there's so many uh, social issues around um, it's it's part of uh, our country unfortunately as part of every country i suppose but yeah, you know, it's sometimes you get swept to the side. Uh, there's so many other things that people worry about. But yeah, those are real issues that uh, we need to look at. Getting the legends together is a huge job. And that's why you've got someone like Kenny Makara, who knows all the legends. We then talk to each other. We then bring them across. But it's not, that, it's not an easy job trying to get the legends out here. But the fact that they come out here is an honour to have them here and to be playing here, especially in the Premier's game. Yeah, young people, this, this games are for them. Uh, we want them to embrace these games, we want them to participate, but most importantly, we want them to understand the meaning of social cohesion games, because these are the games that build, and these are the games that eliminate hatred, these are the games that eliminate the wrong things, but games that embrace is peace. Premier Banyaza Lusufi, together with Maurizio Moriano, representing the Hip Alliance, recognized the sportsmen and women from the Gauteng province sports community, who had played a pivotal role in sports in society, honoring their achievements at this prestigious event. Premier, as I said at the media launch, you're a special person who would like to express our gratitude to you for being a person of your word. All of us can look at rugby and follow what rugby is doing. South Africa will be a beautiful country. Thank you. Thank you. This year's Legend Soccer Team winners were captained by William Okpara, who won the coveted David Kekana Memorial Floating Trophy. This sporting event is a nation-building exercise for Gauteng against racism and xenophobia and teaches respect for the different cultures that are represented in these communities, helping to grow Gauteng together. <laughs>